What's up guys, Kevin Stonemunch here and welcome back to a new reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Assassinated Episode 2, In the Nick of Time. So, as you may have known, I have reacted to the first episode of this. Um, it came kind of came out a bit out of the blue, because I didn't say I mentioned beforehand that I was going to be reacting to this. Um, but as I said, this is my friend uh, Polo's series, and I'm super excited to see how it's going to progress and unfold. And I, I'm, I, I love the first episode. It was really nice. And apologies, after I, when I was editing the first episode, I realised I was calling Derek Dark. And I didn't realise until after I'd already recorded it that I, I, yeah, I mentioned that in the, in the previous reaction video. So if you haven't seen the first episode, go check it out. Polo's channel will be linked down in the description. Go check him out and give him a bunch of love and support. Um, but that being said, let's react to episode two. Previously on Assassinated. I want to learn how to use my powers. Yeah, then we got him training. Back up tomorrow. Okay, like oh, and then she's mad that she, her dad's not training her. So I'll just have to show him. I'll show him what I'm capable of. Yeah. Two days later. Oh, this is looking so much better. Do you want me to do this? Over the past two days, you've trained to constantly maintain your powers throughout your entire body. And only in a single punch. You've also leveled the percentage you use from 5% to... 8. 8%. Eight right. Now I want you to combine the wow. two skills. Maintain 8% throughout your entire body. Then at the moment you land a punch, level it to... Let's go with... 15%? Okay. I'll try. Okay. It looks so Something much better now! Like, this looks so good! The hair's moving, the eyes look nice. No! Yes! <laughs> what the? Now let's see how you do against an actual opponent instead of random targets that don't fight back. Oh yeah! But your mentor! <laughs> sir, sir. Yes, Lynn. What's up? It's about Lily. She's been kidnapped. Oh my God! How I I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. If only I had a face cam at a time like this, because you you would be like laughing at my face right now. Oh my God. Okay. I knew I should I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Right, okay. Anyway, Lynn Ver Vel Vel You made this text easy to read names. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say Lynn. We don't need to worry about the second name. Lynn, hi. And then Lily Vale. Can you give us a rundown of what happened? Well, she asked me to get her some food after she felt bad because of her fight with her dad two days ago. So I left the room, made her some food, and when I came back, the window was open. I followed her trail until it ended up in a puddle of blood. Ugh, why did she leave her room in the first place? We've been reminding her of the dangers for years. That's probably why she left. She felt like we trapped her. Well, you probably got her to house arrest is the better solution. Survive out there on her own. Well, look where that ended her up. Kidnapped, just like we said. Come on, Simon. Don't be like that. Everyone, prepare for a raid. I found her location. He seems awfully calm for the fact that his hey, daughter's been kidnapped. Strictly. Hello, oh, is this the Dream Club? Take him out. It, it, take him out. Yeah, sure. Oh, you're dead now. Oh, well, that's sad. Let's go. Oh! 
Oh, that was brutal. Are you all right, Paulo? You look a little distant. Yeah. I just got this strange sense of deja vu. Deja, deja vu. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what the heck is? So I'm sorry. Did this to me, but not me. It's weird, but whatever. Is he like seeing the future? You guys are here. Of course we are, sweetheart. But don't you ever dare sneak out again and do something so dangerous. House arrest for a month. I'm sorry. Oh my. Like, okay, I can understand where he's coming from. Like, it's his daughter. He doesn't want, you know, anything bad to happen to her. But I feel like this is one of those, like, classic scenarios with a parent in a, like, a, like an animation series where, like, the parent is being too overprotective of the daughter of, or of the child. And as a result, um, they become more rebellious, which I'm totally here for. I absolutely love that like, concept, but that's the feeling I'm getting for this, is the fact that she's be he's being too protective of her to the point where she's not going to be able to like fend for herself out in the real world. And that's what was about why she got kidnapped. Correct me if I'm wrong, Polo, but that's the impression I get. We're sorry too, Lily. But I hope that now you can see why we kept you out of the field. I suppose... She does not seem happy. Like, I can understand that. <sighs> I promise to keep her out of harm's way from now on. But Paulo, please help me keep her at bay. Yeah. I will. Oh, his eyes glue then. Oh, okay! Oh my god, okay, I, I keep feeling like these episodes should be longer, because, I don't know, maybe it's just my, in my mind, the pacing is just a bit fast, but oh, I love that, that episode, that was really good. Um, I will say, one thing I've noticed about this episode is the fight seems seem a little close, so it's like a little crammed, little too crammed into the camera, like the camera is quite close to the characters fighting, so it's hard to make out their movements, so... That's just just one thing, a little thing I noticed. Um, also, I, f I feel like, like okay, here we saw, I, I if was that Sly, breaking his neck. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't know. If this, um, so is was he was Polo seeing the future there? Is that like part of his powers? Because from what I understand, his powers are like quite vague and i'm not sh quite sure like what his powers entail like we know from episode one that he they caused the giant explosion and you know his eyes activate so i'm sh i i get i get the idea that he gets some form of like like turns into like some sort of battle mode like almost like a focus mode so i'm not entirely sure what polo's powers entail i'm assuming they'll be explored in future episodes but it's more interest it's interesting to see them unfold Although I will, the only th really problem I had with this episode was uh, pacing. It's very, um, it's very fast paced. Like the first episode, it was okay because you had the um, like slow motion mo um, prologue. You it set the scene. You introducing the characters, and I, I'm assuming that's what the majority of season one does anyway. That's what season one does in any series anyway. Um, but the fact that in this episode, you have Lynn come in and say, um, she's, Lily's been kidnapped. And then right at, and then, oh, what, like two minutes later, she's safe. I don't know. I feel like there should be some form of, there should have been some form of tension in between that, you know, made it more worrisome. I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're like making it like easier now for something more traumatic later on. And if, if so, maybe I'm, you're not not getting the full idea yet until I like, actually get to later episodes, but yeah, that's just what, the one thing I would say about this episode that you know I had I had I you know noticed really. Um, the other thing we notice is that Lynn was actually mentioned in the first episode. I think she was mentioned to have ice powers of some sort. Um, 
So yeah, we we could. I'm assuming we'll see a lot more of her. Um, and then we had these guys with like the like dream masks. Like he's got a glowing dream. Like uh, he, I'm, I'm gonna keep calling him a dream mask. I'm sorry, Apollo. Like I, they're probably not. They probably have nothing to do with the dream, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. So we know that. So apparently, the this guy was the one who kidnapped uh, Lily, and. That's all we know. We why we don't know. I'm assuming again. I'm assuming this is gonna be explored in future episodes. So I'm not gonna be like you know jump to conclusions too fast. It was a good episode. Um, again, starting with the training, showing his progression. This is the the, the beginning of the episode. I really liked with him, you know, showing his his training. Um, I love his. Did he have that weapon in the first episode? I feel like he did, and I just missed it. Did I forget to comment on that? I probably didn't. My bad. But the character models look so much better. Like, Polo looks really nice here. Like, his hair's got actual physics to it. So is his, um... Like, what do you call those? The little strings on his jacket. So that's really, really nice. Um, and yeah. And then we have... But yeah, I'm excited to see how Lily's character is going to unfold in the future. Because I definitely get the feeling that she's going to become that rebellious that re you know that rebellious you know teenager who disobeys the father i've got a feeling that like, the impression i get is because he's so overprotective i have the like strong impression that Derek is probably gonna die that that's the feeling i get like he's the mentor character in in the majority of things i hate to break it to you but the mentor character kind of dies so I feel like he's gonna die at some point, point, and that's gonna be the thing that either pushes Lily to become that rebellious assassin, or maybe she does something later in the future, like breaks out again, and then you know Derek dies um, looking for her. Like, that's the impression I got off when they first mentioned when Lynn first like came into the room and was like, "Oh, she's been kidnapped." Like I thought then that Derek was gonna get killed off because. You know, getting killed off, you know, to try and save his daughter and that didn't work. But, I don't know, maybe that will happen in the future, maybe not, I don't know. That's just the, that's just the impression I get. The mental character usually dies, so I'm, I'm at the moment trying not to get too attached to Derek. As, as, as fun as his voice is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really love the, I really, I love the episode. It was really good and I'm excited to see, like, how you build up the lore, um, and improve the pacing as things progress because there's definitely a lot of potential here. And I understand if you have like certain time constraints that you want to keep episodes to a certain duration, but I feel like if you if I like taking the time to like pace out things, um, uh, pace out things like more levelly and like if like so like, build up tension to make maybe make like stuff like Lily's kidnapping. You know, a bit more hard to do instead of just being like, "Oh, I walk through the door, stab a bunch of people, she's safe." Woo, um, <laughs> like it, like it was good because it showed them um, Polo and his friends like in action for the first time. So yeah, it gets to the point, but yeah, pacing is the one one problem. I it, one thing I would really advise for future reference. But in any case, um, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video. Please do leave a like and a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to Paolo as well. His link is down in the description. Um, and then go check out uh, the series for yourself. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.